Hi, and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins. We're hunting through, looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally looking to fill the book. We need three Commonwealth games still to go, Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland, but those three are quite tricky to get. Uh, as it would appear, so is the World War One Navy Centenary with the flag arrow, which again would be a lovely coin to tick off should we be lucky enough to find one. Anything after the Great Fire of London as well, that were allegedly minted for circulation that I don't think anyone has started to find, would also be very cool to see as well. So, let's get into this bag and see what we find. Okay then, bag number one. I'll show you what we're after. Uh, that's Technologies, the definitive design up to 2015. Some are lower minted than other years, just not low enough that I think they are worth keeping. Unfortunately, bag number one, we have a case of the diddlies. We didn't find anything, but that's fine. As long as we find some nice ones throughout the hunt. So that's the um, abolition of the slave trade. Always look carefully on this one. Uh, you can see it's got this bobbly textured finish on the inner part of the coin. There is a version where it's a smooth finish and has the initials DG to the bottom right of the seven. That is a version of this coin that didn't go into circulation. This one though is exactly how you'll find them out in your change. But if someone obviously has bought that set, busted it out, spent it, banked it, whatever, there's a chance you could find one. Right, Army Centenary, uh, Army Centenary, what am I that? It does begin with an A, that's where my brain was auto-filling. Uh, this is the Active Union. Uh, no rotation error on that one. Allegedly, that's a that's a, a prevalent error. Excuse me, season there. I must be allergic to, to, to common coins, and we need to find some um, rarer ones so that I don't have any more issues. But, uh, hmm. It could have been a better, better start, but as long as we finish on a good one, that's all that matters. Steam locomotive there. This is uh, again a common coin. It's less common than some of the really common coins, if that makes sense. But again, not worth an awful lot, I'm afraid. Nothing in that lot either. But oh, um, I'm off to the Royal Mint. Um, I don't, I don't think I've, meant, I don't know if I've mentioned it in videos so far. Uh, the last Sunday of February, which I think is the 25th. Um, February so if you want to come down and say hi I'm booked on the one o'clock tour so if you want to book on the same tour or tour around that because I'll be there a little bit in advance of the tour and then I'll hang around for a few hours afterwards as well right army centenary no rotation error for king and country that is all present and correct no exciting errors on that but I'm excited to go down it's the t-rex 50p is the strike your own it's kind of interesting I think I've said before um, the T-Rex 50Ps that you have bought up till now uh, from the Royal Mint, they were actually all struck in 2023, it would appear, uh, because they were made available at the end of 2023. So the Strike Your Owns are kind of unique in that uh, they will look the same, but uh, we will know they have been struck in a different year effectively, which is kind of neat. I don't think it's not going to add a huge amount of value to the coin, just that fact. So I wouldn't anticipate it being more valuable than a standard strike your own. It's just a an interesting little curiosity attached to the coin. Obviously there will be two more dinosaur 50ps this year. We don't know if all three will end up as strike your owns throughout the course of this year. In the past, uh, there, there were plans in 2020 to have the three dinosaur 50ps, the Megalosaurus, the um, Oh, have I done this to myself? Iguanodon and Hylosaurus as strike your owns, but uh, there was only two of the three eventually because of everything that happened in 2020. Right, Charles Dickens there. He's very common. You'll see plenty of him out and about. Nothing more there. But no, uh, we could see all three as strike your owns, or like what happened with the Winnie the Pooh. Uh, it was just one Winnie the Pooh uh, coin out of the nine that was a strike your own if memory serves. Florence Nightingale there, again fairly common but that's a lovely design, I do like that coin a lot. And we've also got Rugby World Cup. So we're ticking off quite a few of the common coins. We're just building up to an incredible find, because that's how luck works. You never know. We've been saved by the last bag before. There's another fairly common one, the VE Day Anniversary. 
we've got counters tracking some of the coins, some common coins, some uncommon coins, just to see how many we find at the end of the book when we go to fill it all up. Let's do an edge hunt, see if that'll rustle us up some luck. So two pound coins are the last coins in circulation with an edge inscription. They're unique to the design, so standing on the shoulders of giants like this top one is the technology's design. Otherwise, oh, something into one kingdom will be the act of union. United into one kingdom. No rotation error there. Any more? I don't think so. We found one coin there. And nothing more. I do wonder how long it will take to fill this book because we've got three particularly tough coins to find. Uh, we have found two Commonwealth Games £2 coins up to now. Unfortunately, there's a duplicate of it. So we've earned ourselves <laughs> some good fortune, hopefully, to get one of the coins we need. I like that one. Another VE Day Anniversary. Uh, let's guess there. But it does feel a bit stagnant with the two pound coins, purely because I not I don't think we uh, uh, obviously I've been hunting through two pound coins and fifty p's for a number of years now, but I'm fairly confident the first two pound coin book that I was completing way back when I started uh, making the videos that is I think that's the it's the same coins we're looking for, whereas the fifty p's. Each year we've had new 50 pieces to add into the book. I'm trying to think. Yeah, that was because 2016 is the last circulating commemorative and I started making videos in 2018. So yeah, it has literally been the same the same book we've been trying to fill each time. Guy Fawkes there, another very common coin. But uh, I'm very much an advocate, as many of you watching are, I'm sure, the more uh, coins that go into circulation, unique designs that is. Oh, Brunel's portrait, very common. Uh, the more exciting commemorative coins we have, the better it is. Um, not obviously, we don't want a hundred million of the same design to be absolutely swamped to them, but uh, a nice variety of them would be nice. Oh, that's stunning. That is a DNA double helix, but as this was minted back in 2003, that is in pristine condition. Well, not pristine condition, obviously. It's been in circulation, it's been bumped around with other coins and whatnot, but uh, for a coin of that age, you'd expect it to be a little bit more battered up by, than that. So I do keep some, sometimes when they are exceptionally good quality ones, uh, for a coin of that age, I do keep them in what I call my oddities box, which is full of all sorts of gubbins, uh, partial errors, made more major errors all my fake coins are in there coins that have uh, just been uh, damaged and look interesting or coins that uh, I don't know there's a couple that I think have been burned with a flame and it's got a cool sort of coloration to it so these kind of things oh there we go we've hit the money World War one Navy centenary uh, the flag error appears just up there but that's nice and that's a nice clear line so that's not the error. Check the obverse. This is Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait. Is how this should how this coin should appear in circulation. There is a version with Ian Rank Broadley's fourth portrait, which is the one that went uh, into the annual sets. Still a nice find, as is this one. One of three Shakespeare two pound coins. This is Shakespeare's history, so as it was minted in 2016. Let's check the edge inscription. The Hollow Crown. Again, that is exactly how it should appear on that coin. But we have found in the past one. Shakespeare tragedies which had the wrong edge inscription which is why it's definitely worth checking um, the error coins you're unlikely to find them you're more likely to find ones without the errors but um, even if there's a slim chance it's always worth checking isn't it it's like with the 2019 restrike 50 P's. we always check just in case oh look someone's Wolverine's had this coin <laughs> um, we always check because you could it could be your lucky day, couldn't it? That's why we buy lottery tickets, isn't it? Right, VE Day Anniversary. Very common. But no, it is of course frustrating when if there's an exciting error around. Um, 
the new pence two pence is a great example 1983 two pence they should say two pence but it says some of the error ones say new pence um, and that has been misconstrued by people to think then the amount of people that think any two pence that says new pence is a rare and valuable error so you if you if you think you've got an error going just just double check you understand what the error is before <laughs> you get too excited about it another steam locomotive Right, penultimate bag. Let's rustle ourselves up some good finds. It's been a little bit light. Oh, there we go. That'll do. Magna Carta. Not the most common coin. One that you'll find uh, quite prevalently with cud errors. So little blobs of metal that shouldn't be there. Um, just where the dies have been damaged, where it's quite an intricate design, it can happen. Again, check the portrait because this was minted in 2015. That is the correct one for the circulating version of the coin. So we'll pop it whoops, down there as everything comes tumbling down. Oh, wow. I told you we'd rustle, rustle ourselves up some nice coins. This is King James Bible. A very nice coin to come across. Well, there we go. Never give up, never surrender. Okay then, last bag of the hunt. As usual, there are links in the description of this video to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come over and join that. There's Trinity House. Again, fairly common. Uh, there's also links to my other social media channels, uh, the PR box address if you want to write into me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, the company I work for as my day job. Now I'm going to whiz through all these coins, see if there's any errors that I've missed throughout the hunt. Well, unfortunately no exciting errors to be found in amongst all of these coins, and of course nothing new for the book, but we got some very, very nice coins, so... Uh, that more than makes up for it. You'll have to let me know in the comments what your favourite coin from today's video has been. It's always interesting seeing what you guys are liking. And all it leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.